Now let's see how we measure KT over V in the dialysis unit. The first step is to draw a pre-dialysis BUN level after needles are inserted into the access and before the hemodialysis treatment is started. Step two, at the end of the dialysis treatment, slow the blood pump rate on the hemodialysis machine to less than 100 milliliters per minute for 15 seconds or so. Step three, stop the blood pump and then obtain blood sample for the post-dialysis BUN from the arterial tubing of the hemodialysis circuit. This is done to decrease chances of re-entry of clean blood into the access and thus minimize cardiopulmonary and hemodialysis access recirculation. The pre and post BUN measurements along with the post dialysis weight and ultrafiltration volume are then plugged into a formula and KT over V is calculated. KT over V obtained by this method is the non-equilibrated KT over V also called single pool KT over V. Urea rebounds post dialysis and reaches steady state 30 to 60 minutes after the end of the dialysis treatment. A post-dialysis BUN drawn at this time more accurately represents the true post-dialysis blood urea level. KT over V calculated using this value is called equilibrated KT over V.